Today's video is gonna be different from my previous video because it involved me to be in front of the camera which is totally awkward but it's okay I just want to make something good something I just want to share I hope you enjoy this video So in today's video, I will talk about the course that I'm currently studying, which is Cognitive Science. As a Cognitive Science student, I always receive multiple of questions regarding to my course. Some want to know what it's all about and some want to know whether this course is a job secure for my future. I know why all this question comes up because this course actually is not that well known in Malaysia, even though it has been introduced for so many years ago. Just as a TMI, I'm currently on my second year for my Bachelor Degree of Cognitive Science in University Malaysia of Sarawak, Unimas, which is the only university in Malaysia that offers this course. Cognitive Science is actually the study of how the mind works. Let me give a simple example. I bet most of all you guys ever been in a situation where you and your friend is talking about a scene in a movie but somehow you forgot the title of the movie. But few minutes or few hours later after that, the answer just pop up in your mind. How is that even possible? In Coxai, we study how it is possible and what actually happened in your brain. To fully understand about how the mind works, it involves multiple of fields such as psychology, neuroscience, linguistics, artificial intelligence, and anthropology. The goal of Coxai is to fully understand about the principle of intelligence in hope that we will create a better comprehension about how the mind works and learning for a better future. So what actually the difference between cognitive science and psychology? To clear things up, cognitive science and psychology is a two different things. Psychologists study why people behave in a certain way towards a certain stimulus, while in cocci we study how and why our mind can cause a person to behave in a certain way. Have you guys ever heard about the classical conditioning? The famous experiment by Ivan Pavlov, where he measured how much the dog salivate. This is the essential of behaviorism, where it states that human behave towards a certain stimuli. However, few years after that, there's a new idea which states that human actually not just behave towards a certain stimuli, but actually we are processing the information from the environment and that is how cognitive science comes up things that you learn in cognitive science number one neuroscience why we study neuroscience in cognitive so to understand how the mind works basically we need to know what is the things the physical things that involve in our mind which is the brain so in neuroscience, we will learn about the anatomy of the brain, which part of the brain that involved in a certain reaction. For example, hippocampus for memory. Number two, artificial intelligence. The goal for artificial intelligence is to create a software, a system that can think and behave like a human, but at the same time also can think and behave rationally. There's a lot of examples of AI nowadays and one of it is Siri. But do you know that to make Siri possible, linguistic is actually involved? Why? Because we need to understand the speech recognition, the language, the accent in order to make Siri possible. Linguistic is the scientific study of human language where you will learn about how does a human language are made of and how does it will affect the way people think so does cognitive science has a job career for the future yes since this course 
involve multiple of fields so you can get involved into multiple of fields multiple of job career out there i can say that this course actually relevant to the world that we are living now which is full of modern technology we are living with the smartphones smart cars everything we want to make it as smart as possible throughout the study years cognitive science students are exposed to many things and from my own experience i can totally say that i learn a lot of things from basic programming i create my own chatbot and then i design my own zero waste concept song and even study multiple types of mental disorder do you think that this course is suitable for you this course will be a good fit for you if you are curious about how human think what makes people think in different ways behave in certain ways and even communicate in certain ways and as a conclusion i just want to say that cognitive science is a scientific study of how the mind works and it is totally different from psychology why a certain Oh, God.